Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you an app that you need to check out before you decide to buy GoodNotes or Notability because this app works just as well, if not better, than those two apps. And it's free! If you want to see how this app works, then just keep on watching! For some reason, I just completely forgot to say the name of the app in the beginning of the video, so it's called OneNote, and before you click out of the video, I do recommend that you just watch through this before you decide which app you want to get. Whether that does end up being OneNote, or it's Good Notes or Notability. So to start, you can hit the plus notebook sign and it'll help you make a new notebook, obviously. Then you can name your notebook, and something that I like to do is give my notebooks different colors, which is always fun. Then, once you're done, you can hit create. You won't be able to change the name of your notebook after you hit create though for some reason. I don't know why the app does that, but it is what it is. If you don't want to see the notebook that you made in the column for notebooks, then you can close the notebook, but you'll still be able to access it later. And as you can see, to do that, you would just go to more notebooks and it will show you all your notebooks. And then you can just click on it and it will reopen that notebook. The app also gives you a few options for what you can do with each section. So here you can see that you can delete the section, you can move the section, you can copy the section, you can rename it, change section color, and you can also lock it. It also has similar options for your pages. As you can see, you'll be able to move it or copy your page and you can also delete your page. You can also title each page, which is really nice just to distinguish between what's on each page. Also, you can just hit the symbol on the top right corner if you want to open the tab where it shows all your notebooks. Like I said in my last video, I kind of prefer this app over GoodNotes because you're able to type on it just like you would be able to on a Word document or a Google Doc. You can bold, italicize, and underline words. You can even cross them out, and obviously you can change the color and highlight them. Just like in GoodNotes and Notability, you can move around the text too. You can make regular and numbered bullet points. And then another thing that I really like about this app compared to GoodNotes, and I think Notability, is that you can make to-do lists with actual checkboxes that you can check just by clicking them. There's a ton of other symbols too, like a star, a question mark, and then many others that you can find when you click on the symbol that I'm showing you right now. Now moving on to the insert tab, you can do things like add tables, add photos that you already took, or take new pictures to add on to your notes. Just like in Notability, you can record a lecture. If you want to annotate your professor's slides or any other documents, you can import PDFs directly onto OneNote and then directly on top of the slides you can annotate it just like on any paid note-taking app. Everything else on the insert tab is pretty self-explanatory so I don't get into too much detail about those. The draw tab is the most comparable to other note-taking apps because obviously you can use that to write stuff down with your Apple Pencil. As you can see, the page background is currently blank, and if you want to change it to ruled paper or gridded paper, then you can switch over to the view tab and click on paper style, and it will give you six different options, and of course just the blank page option as well. I prefer medium for both ruled and grid paper. Another thing that I really like on the View tab is the Immersive Reader option. When you click that, it will show you something like this, and it will basically just read out your notes to you. Going back to the Draw tab, you have the option to type up your notes by choosing Text Mode. You can also use the Lasso tool to move around a lot of text at the same time. Apart from moving the text around, you can also choose to copy it, cut it, delete it, or rotate it. Using the insert space option, you can, like the name sounds, insert space between your notes. Obviously what the pens, erasers, and highlighters do is pretty obvious, but I do love that the highlighters go behind the text. You have the option from choosing between all of these highlighter colors, however you are limited to just those colors in the free version of the app. The same applies for the pen colors and the pen sizes and the highlighter sizes as well. If you really want to have fun taking notes, then OneNote has a bunch of cool colors for the pens. Another reason why I really like OneNote over GoodNotes, and especially Notability, is that you have the ability to have several more saved pens. 
On good notes, you can only have three saved colors. And on notability, you can only have one pen and you have to go back in every time you want to change the color. Whereas on here, you can save a bunch of other pens and highlighters. You can actually have up to 14 pens and highlighters in total. For the eraser, you can choose between erasing the entire stroke or just erasing certain parts of the stroke. You can choose from adding pre-drawn shapes and also drawing your own shapes. And by that I mean no matter how bad you are at drawing perfect shapes, it will perfect them for you. Of course, if you decide not to buy an Apple Pencil, you can also just draw with touch. So you can take notes with your finger, which I know some people do. However, if you do decide to get an Apple Pencil, make sure you turn the draw with touch feature off. If you're left-handed or write in a weird, different way, then you can also change the stylish orientation. In the View tab, you have the option to turn on Dark Theme, which will make your paper almost black or dark gray. You can also change the size of your paper along with the width. You can also change the paper color. You can choose between pinks and blues and beiges, which is something that GoodNotes does not offer unless you have downloaded your own template. I already show you the paper style, so I'm not going to go into that again, but you can also protect your papers by adding a password to them again, which is something that GoodNotes does not have. I quickly wanted to show you the different colors that are available for each section and page. And again, you would just change that by going to the little pencil icon. Another thing is that if you want to move a page from one notebook to another, you can't do that through the app. You would have to export the page and then put it back into the other notebook. You can only move pages from section to section. I'm now going to move on to the settings of this app. You can choose to turn off show recent notes if you don't like to see the clutter in your library. The app has a default font, which I did not like, so I actually ended up changing it to Times New Roman and size 12 font because that's just standard. To change the default settings, I went into the Edit and View tab, which also had some other settings which I didn't find as useful. Next is the Sync tab, in which you can auto-sync, which is something that I always recommend just in case you don't have your iPad on you and you have your laptop, so that your notes are always going to be the same on both devices. Next up is notifications, which will give you notifications if you ever change your notebook through any other devices. The navigation tab in the settings is actually something that I've used before, unlike some of the other tabs. Basically, it gives you the option of where you want to add new pages. As you can see, you can choose from adding pages to at the top of the list, below the selected page, or at the bottom of the list. You can also choose to turn on or off the show page preview option. There are a bunch of other settings, but I think the most important one is the ability to enable class notebook, which means that you will be able to share your notebook with your professors or your classmates. Even if you're a professor, you can use this because you have the ability to distribute pages, distribute a new section, copy content to library, and a bunch of other things that I've personally used before, especially for school. And that just about does it. Here's just a quick look through through the notes that I've taken on this app. I did switch over to GoodNotes recently, and I talked a little bit about that in my last video, so if you would like to know why I switched, then please check out that video. Also, if you found this video at all useful, then don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel, and of course check out any of my other videos too. I make content to help other people be successful in school and in college, so don't forget to just support my channel and help me continue to grow. If you have any video suggestions, then please leave them down below in the comments. Because I'm just starting out on YouTube, it means that I'll be able to get to each and every one of your suggestions. If you stay tuned until now, which you probably didn't, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.